Hey everybody, so I thought it was important to share Sebastian's visual. I know everybody has seen all the interviews and everything else on everybody else's channel and you probably have seen the visual on everybody else's channel, but I have been giving small updates. I haven't been doing every single little thing with Sebastian's case because everybody has been doing his case every day. But I thought this was important because it's special. Tonight, the Hendersonville community came together once again to pray for the safe return of Sebastian Rogers. Welcome to News to Attend. I'm Kimley Hargett. Monday will mark six weeks since the 15-year-old went missing from Sumner County. News 2's Nick McGee has more on those continuing to keep up hope, praying for Sebastian's safe return. We are one, Lord God, and we believe and we decree and declare that Sebastian will come home safe and unharmed. The search for 15-year-old Sebastian Rogers continues. Nearly six weeks later, community members came together for a prayer vigil Saturday, offering messages of unwavering hope. You guys are Sebastian's army. We will find him. We will find him alive. We will find him well. Sebastian's father, Seth Rogers, thanking all those who have given up their time to help search for his son. Sebastian's grandparents also speaking out coming all the way from Texas for a second time to help locate their grandbaby. He loved to talk about plants with me. He loved to talk about animals with me. He loved to go fishing. And he would say, you know, Mimo, that's our favorite sport, right? <laughs> Sebastian's family also had a strong message for anyone looking to benefit from their search efforts. You're gonna be out here doing what needs to be done to bring our grandson home. We appreciate, we appreciate it. it. But if you're and out there you. just making money, stay away. But throughout the investigation, strangers have become allies. Since the beginning of the search, Mary Strom and her son Jaden took a special interest and organized Saturday's prayer vigil. By the fourth day, I really started to get involved. I went out searching on the fourth and fifth day, and ever since then, I've just been pretty vigilant with helping however I can. In addition to searching alongside Sebastian's father, the two also continue to provide flyers to the community to help raise awareness. I have children of my own, and it's hard to not see their faces when you look at his, and I think it's hard for every mom and dad here. Saturday, they ended Sebastian's prayer vigil with handwritten messages to Sebastian, ones they plan to share with him upon his return. We can't let this case get cold. Um, it cannot abs It cannot get cold and we will find him. And the more vigils and the more news presence and media coverage that we get, the more his face keeps, keeps out there. Maybe somebody will see something and they'll say something and we'll get Sebastian home. Now tonight's event was held at the Rudder restaurant in Hendersonville. Strom and her son will leave flyers there for anyone who would like to help distribute them. And if you have any information on this case or Sebastian's whereabouts, you're asked to call the Sumner County Sheriff's Office or the TBI right away. Kenley. Thank you so much, Nikki. Very awesome. And they have a point. You know, if you're just going out there and searching just for the money, don't do it. Don't do that in any case. So I wanted to share that with you guys because it had a message there. And also, I love the visuals that everybody does. Every case, everyone does something different. So I thought it was special for the case and important. So remember to keep sharing. Hold on, I'm going to bring it up. His face. Do not share any altered pictures or anything like that. Make sure you're sharing pictures from the TBI and from his parents. And please don't get mixed up in all the extra stuff. All right, I appreciate you guys, and I'm sending you guys love and light. Have a great Sunday. Love you all. Bye.